You didn't see anything. <laughs> okay, I forgot to turn on the recording. I thought I clicked on it, and then I noticed oh, it wasn't recording. Okay, welcome. Uh, this is the lesson, lesson nine, which is going to be an interesting lesson. A lot of, you know, have a lot of new words, so get your notebook, get your notebook, get your pencil, and you know, get ready. We're going to have a lot of new words. Let me turn on my phone. This this, this guy's disturbing me. Okay. Man had a rajul. Man had a rajul. Who is this man? Who is this man? I have a conversation here. Huwa Abbasun. He is Abbas. Right? Abbas. Abbasun Tajirun. He's a merchant. Abbas. So we're going to say Abbas is a merchant, which is delightful. Abbas Tajirun Ghaniyun. Oh, he's not just any merchant. He is quite, you know, rich. Abbas is a rich merchant. He's a rich merchant, which is great. Now, we have Hamidun. Hamidun Mudarris. So, Hamid is a teacher. Is he any teacher? Is he any kind of teacher? No. Hamid is a Jadid. He's a new teacher. Hamid is a new teacher. So, that's, that's great. Okay. Mahada. Whatever they're pointing at. What is this? Okay. Hada tufah, tufahun. I think we did tufah. Tufah means an apple. Didn't we do this? I think we did apple a long time ago. I don't know if you remember, but we sure did apple. Wait, there you go, apple. So this is an apple. Let's write that. Is an apple. التفاح فاكهة لذيذة. This is interesting. Okay. التفاح فاكهة لذيذة. Okay. التفاح is the apple. Correct? It's apple. That's my apple. لذيذة. There are some kids screaming in the neighborhood. So ignore them. They're kind of loud. لذيذ means لذيذ means delicious. I think we did this a long time ago. Laziz means delicious. Delicious. And what is Fakiha? Fakiha is a word that comes a lot in the Quran and it's a really interesting word. It means fruits. Fruit. Now, for all the astute students watching, they might ask that why is it Muannas? Why is it Muannas? Well, the thing is, Fakiha, Laziz, Lazizun, and I'm doing this so you guys can know, Laziz, that's the default word there, Lazizun, Laziz. Now, the thing is, Fakiha, the word Fakiha in itself is feminine, it's a oneness, it has a Tamarbota, right? And so, it's a noun, and we're Describe so Laziz is here is acting as an adjective. So we're describing the noun. So the noun is Muanna. So we have to use the feminine version of the descript the, 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 the description. What just happened there? Alright? So if this was a masculine, we would have to say Lazizun. Well, this isn't a masculine, this is a feminine. So in order to describe a feminine word, we have to use the feminine version of the adjective. So Enough of those, enough of yapping. Let's let's go to the translation. At-tufahu ladhiyatun. The apple is a delicious, mm, delicious, delicious fruit. Okay. Okay. Ma dhalika. Ma dhalika. What does dhalika mean? Dhalika means that. So this is. What is that? ذلك عصفور 
Usfur, a lot of new words that I'm telling you guys. Usfur means it's a bird, I think. Yeah, it's a bird. Bird. Usfur means bird. Usfur means bird. There's another word. There it is. Ta'ir. Um. Usfur is a bird. I think it's more of like. I think Usfur is sparrow. Yes, it is sparrow. I think they call it sparrow. Like Usfur is a bird. It's a small bird. So it is a sparrow. So ma dalika. Dalika Usfur. Usfur is a sparrow. You guys can fix me if I'm wrong. But Usfur is definitely a sparrow. So that is a sparrow. Al Usfuru Ta'iratun Sagirun. Yes, Usfur is a sparrow. Okay. Al Usfuru, the sparrow, is Ta'irun. Ta'irun is bird. There you go. Usfur and Ta'ir means bird. Ta'irun also means a plane because it flies, I guess. So that's where they came from. Interesting. Sagir. Sagirun means small. I'm not sure if these are. No. Sagirun. I don't think it's a new word. You guys should know that. So, you have Ta'irun, which means a bird, and this is a, this means small. So, Sagirun. Kabirun and Sagirun, like, you know, opposite words. You should learn them together, side by side. So, Al Usfuru Ta'irun, the sparrow, is a small bird. Have you noticed in Arabic? We bring the, like, you know, I mean, not like in Arabic, you have the noun first and then the adjective. Whereas in English, we have the adjective, the, we have the adjective first and then the noun. Like here, when we had delicious fruit, we're describing the deli the fruit before. Like we're saying the apple is a delicious adjective, fruit is a noun. Similarly here, where you can see that small is an adjective and bird is a noun. Whereas in Arabic, we have the word the noun first and then the adjective this is just something is is you know getting used to it al lughat al arabi yes al arabi lughatun sahla that's that's um my name the, the channel's name well it's kind of like flipped over al lughat al lugha no it first is al arabi al arabi al arabiyatu lughat lughatun sahlatun Okay, <clears throat> again, what what is Arabic? Al Arabic. That, that's just the Arabic. You can just you know say you can just tell that. Al Lugha. Lugha means language. It's it's a very beautiful name. Lugha al Arabic sounds beautiful. Lugha. <clears throat> now what is Sahla? Sahla. I guess. Sahla means easy. Easy. All right. It means easy. What was that verse again? That was, I think, what, well, yes, I don't know, oh yeah, that, 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 that's, that's not the same word, but I'm trying to remember if there's, there may, there might be a word in the letter, I can't remember, but, Sahla. Yes, there is a verse in the Quran, but I just can't remember right now. Uh, okay, I'm terrible at remembering stuff, but okay. Al-Lughatu, Al-Lughat, Allahu Akbar, Al-Arabiyyatu, Lughatun, Sahlatun. Okay. Notice everyone here is oneness. Why though? If I kind of like erase everything, I want you to know what's going on. Al-Lughat Arabi always has Tamar Buddha. So, and also the Lughat has a Tamar Buddha. So this is the adjective. Easy. We're describing what kind of language is Arabic. So, since it's oneness, we also use a oneness version. Of Sahel. And Sahel, I think it in itself is a wonderful word. So, the Arabic language is easy. Or you can say the Arabic is an easy language. It's again, it doesn't really matter as long as you know you get the point right, as long as you, you know, get the message, you know. Passed out. Um, yeah, there you go. <clears throat> okay. Ooh, yes, I love this. 
العربية لغة جميلة What is جميل 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 What is جميل جميل means beautiful Terrible writing Not very beautiful So it's saying The Arabic Language Is beautiful Or Arabic is a beautiful language. I don't really emphasize on how you, you know, translate it as long as you get the thing right. You know, I'm gonna give you marks. It doesn't really matter because, yeah. Okay. Ammarun talibun mujtahidun wa Muhammadun talibun kaslan. I love this word, kaslan. Kaslan. My, my sheikh calls me Kaslan. It's like, Ya Mahdi, Ant Kaslan Jiddan. You're very lazy. And I'm like, always like, Sah, sheikh, sah, you have spoken the truth. Kaslan means lazy. Lazy. And so if Kaslan means lazy, Mujtahid, you kind of get the word. It comes from Ijtahid, Jihad, Ijtahid, hardworking. So yeah, hardworking, hardworking. There was this verse. Oh my god, I forgot the verse. What was the verse again? Inna Allah, the whole verse. I can't. Inna Allah yuhibbu al um, mujahidi. No, no, oh my god, it's, it's in Jews 4. It's in Jews. No, no, no. Oh, Allah. It's in Jews 7. Right. It's in Jews 7. It's a very beautiful verse. And so, yeah, Ammar. Ammar is a hard. We can break this down. Break this down. Make your life easy. Break this down. Ammar un talib un mujtahid. Ammar is a hard working student. Whereas, wa Muhammad, you always forget. Every, this exam session, every single student of mine forgot to include that wa, and that was so disappointing. Don't forget that wa. And Muhammad. Is a lazy student. Well, Muhammad, you need to um, improve, right? <laughs> and then you have man anta. Oh, anta. Anta is not a new word. Come on, guys. We did pronouns and we had anta. Anta is you masculine. Man anta. Which means who are you? Anna Talibun. I'm a student. I'm a student. Anta Anta Talibun Jadidun. Are you a new student? Are you a new student? For the astute audience, they might ask, doesn't I mean is like you mentioned this in the, your very first video is still out there you guys can go and check out this R ah really has a multi-function and i like to call these le letters and words boosters like the, you know the only f the main function of an ah is to make the sentence a question it's gonna make it a question now it doesn't matter what it really is like it could be an is an r whatever it takes to make that question to make that sentence a question just use it so if is if adding a is in front of the sentence makes it a question, go ahead. If adding a r makes it a sentence, makes the sentence a question, go ahead. And here it seems that plugging a r makes the sentence a question. So we're going to go with r. Naam, ana talibun jadidun. Yes, I am a I am a new student. All right, that was we have a lot of new words here. Jamil, beautiful new words. Tufah, Lazirun, Usfur, Tayrun, Sagirun. Sagirun is a new word. Come on, guys. Loga, Sahla, Jamil, Mujtahid, and Kaslan. You guys gotta learn this word. It's so good. Okay. We have Tamreen, the first exercise of our. Um, Listen, I'm going to make, I'm going to make, my videos are going to be really short from now on. I'm, I can't upload too much 
and I won't upload too much. Um, let's see how far we can go. How, how long has it been, though? Okay, 11, okay, good. Exercise. Iqra, waqtub, read and write. Again, no one gave the harakats. I have to give the harakats here. Muhammadun. Terrible. Muhammadun. Talibun. Talibun. Qadimun. Muhammad. Talibun. Qadimun. Okay? Alright. Which is stupid. Why isn't it working? Okay. Muhammad Talibun Qadimun. Qadim is Qadim means old. So Muhammad is an old student. <coughs> or Muhammad, he doesn't, no one really cares about him. Okay. Where's Salas? There you go. Adhanika, Adhanika. أذلك الرجل مدرس جديد is is um is that man a new teacher أذلك الرجل أذلك الرجل is that man مدرس جديد a new teacher لا no هو طبيب هو طبيب جديد no he is a new doctor جديد means new and طبيب means a doctor we did that Okay, هذا هذا درس سهل. This is درس means lesson. Hey, this is me. I'm gonna say this. هذا درس سهل. This is an easy lesson. You guys agree? Lesson. سهل سهل means um what? Easy, right? And you see. Last time we did, we had Sahala, it was a Mu'annas, because we had a Mu'annas here. Here it's a Mudhakkar, and so we use a Mudhakkar. Abbasun, Abbasun, Tajirun, Tajirun, Shaheer, oh my god, so many new words. Shaheerun, Shaheer means famous. Shaheer means famous, you have a lot of new words here. So Abbas isn't just a merchant, he was, what was he before? He was a merchant, then he became a rich merchant. Now he's a famous merchant. Damn, Abbas is living his dream. Okay. Bilalun, Bilalun, Muhandisun, Kabirun. Bilal is a very big, no, no, not very big. Bilal is a big um, engineer. Now, the thing is, big engineer, that sounds weird. So instead, we can say he's a senior. Because, you know, senior still means someone who's higher up than you. He's bigger than you. He's, you know, more experienced than you, right? So in these, you know, I sometimes find it really weird when students are like, but sir, kabirun means big, you know? that That's the only definition. No, you know? Words can have other meanings, and in sentences, you have to think about it if, you know, the default meaning makes sense, right? Kursi yun means a chair. You don't say Allah sat on his kursi, you know, that means his throne. So, stuff like that. So, kabirun does mean big, but here we're going to put a senior, because a senior or um, elder isn't a proper word here, but yeah, we learn it as senior. Mohandis. Okay. This is the most funniest word. And every time I look at this word, and I cannot help but laugh. This is, if I attack, like, in, you have there, in, kil, in, kiziyatun, in, I think they made a mistake here. I think they made a mistake. No, actually, it's, it's, it's correct. In ki li zetu. Oh my god. <laughs> Wait. 
No, that's wrong. That's wrong. Take, take that away. Yeah, take that away. I'll check that later. Yeah, okay. Focus on the class. Okay. Okay. Wait, where were we? In ki li zi yetun. In ki li zi yetun. And that means English. Isn't it funny? In ki li zi yetun. In ki li zi yetun. In ki li zi yetun. Which means English. Allora. This is so funny. Allora tu. which means difficult difficult and it is so true it is so true in in ki li ziyatu al-logatun al-logatu is actually tun al-logatun because it's a <coughs> noun al-logatun so'abatun which means it's a difficult language. Okay. أنت الرجل غني. Are you a rich man? لا. أنا الرجل. أنا الرجل فقير. No. I am a poor man. Okay. ال. This is what we do. Okay. القاهرة مدينة ك كبيرة. Okay. القاهرة Kahir, Kahiratun, Madinatun, Kabiratun. Kahira is Cairo. Medina means city. It doesn't necessarily have to be Medina in, in Saudi Arabia. No, it doesn't have to be that Medina from Saudi. Medina means a city, alright? Kabiratun means big. So, Kahiratun, Medinatun, Kabiratun. Uh, Cairo is a big city. أنت مدرس أنت مدرس مدرس قديم. Are you an old teacher? لا أنا مدرس جديد. No, I am a new teacher. Okay. أحمد أحمد طالب كسلان. Is Hamid a lazy student? لا هو طالب مجتهد. No, he is a hardworking student. He's a hardworking student. Write those down. Write those down. Okay. So here was the worst word of today. Like it was the hardest, I think. In ki li ziyatun. And the funniest thing is, I think this is a second or third time I ever encountered this word because even I had a hard time pronouncing it because I wasn't used to this word but I know what you know there are even worse words trust me guys but that's that the Medine and okay I'm gonna be giving you guys a homework all of you the guys zoom yes Muhammad Junaid and uh, why did you send me? Why did you send me the mail though? No, I told you to send me in WhatsApp. Right. Right. Ibrahim, I'll check your notebook in the next class. Okay. No, I did. Okay. All right. The your homework is gonna be. Let me let me say it. The homework is gonna be terrible, terrible. It's gonna be number two, and number three. I'll do the number, uh, sorry, yeah, number two. I'll do number four later. I'll do the number four for you guys, okay? But your homework is going to be, try to do this tamreen. Try to do this tamreen. Um, Thalath and, yeah, what is, yeah, okay. Khadija tum So basically, you're going you're gonna to be adding words if I were to give you easy stuff, like Khadija tum talibatun mujtahidatun. Alright? That's something, if it's in Khadija, it's Muanna, so you're going to use a adjective, which is feminine. Okay? And Khalidun is a mudhakkar, 
So we're gonna use you're gonna use something I don't know I don't know Kaslan right you're gonna use Kaslan or Tajirun um, Shahirun use Shahirun right it's famous so on and so forth all right I'll see you guys in the next class with the homework and we will continue from part four inshallah. Asalam.